Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we're just gonna stay consistent with these Valentine's Day carvings as gifts. And you know what, we're just gonna put these videos right out probably three days in a row or sooner, I don't know. They're gonna be just bam, 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 bam. Valentine's Day is a couple weeks away. You guys need time to practice and create and, and, and make gifts, right? Or make items to sell and be able to get them done before Valentine's Day. Ugh. Anyway. Little tutorial, we're gonna do I heart you, and this time, this time, we're gonna make the I, the heart, and the you be three-dimensional. So it's gonna pop off the log, and uh, it'll be a little more intense than the last one. We're gonna have to really manipulate the saw, do a little more work than before. As usual though, we'll have a camera, first eye view, right on the saw and carbon. Try to walk you through it the best that I can. Give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, Make sure you're wearing safety gear. Let's get started. All right guys, we're getting right into the video. We got a heart drawn, or an eye, a heart, and a U. Everything is drawn thick. See the thick eye here and all that? And what I want to do is carve to the outside of each of those lines. Cut to your line. You want to be deep enough that you're carving past the bark if you left your bark on, which you should peel it off before you even start. I didn't. The bark's frozen on in my case. All right, I gotta move this, it's in my way. Okay. Our eye is almost done. Boom, we have an eye. Let's go for that heart. Edges. I'm not going to go any further on that U until we get this heart cleaned up.
Okay, heart's done. Now, bear with me guys, I'm gonna flip the log over. Don't go anywhere. Flipped over, right? So the eye and the heart are upside down. Now we can carve that U and the jaw horse be out of the way. to our lines. So I just want to mention guys, we're using a lot of the nose of the bar. We can get kickback. It's important to have a good grip and, and be safe, all right? You gotta be safe. Just a quick reminder guys, when you're carving, all right, normally we're using the bottom side of this bar. When you start using the top of the nose to cut, it's very, very easily for that to grab and come out of that cut and come back at you. That's where your kickback's coming from when you're cutting up to make a cut and it grabs and works its way out. So be careful, it can be dangerous, just be careful. I find those sort of things to happen when I'm carving wood like this. This is maple. It's not as soft as pine. I get more kickback carving hardwoods than softwoods. So keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to grab my die grinder, saber tooth bit, quarter inch shaft, half inch burr coarse, the green bit from saber tooth, and just clean this up a little. Now you guys, if your bark's removed, paint the letters, burn the letters, do whatever you want. Normally I would just burn it, but because everything's frozen, it just doesn't work that great in the weather. Um, yeah, we got to clean it up though, right? So also just a uh, quick reminder from now to the end of February 2020. The end of February 2020. You guys can get a, uh, a discount at sabertooth.com. Use code HALL10, popping up right here. Go ahead, pump that in, get a discount on some burrs. So just wanted to share that. And uh, yeah, I gotta switch over to the diagram. Guys, make sure you're wearing chaps, work steel toe boots, you got gloves, wear a dust mask, wear ear stuff. I don't have all that on because I'm shooting video and you guys can never hear me. And I can't hear myself talk with the ear stuff on but 
especially if you're running gas sauce power tools wear your safety gear all right guys there there's my dust mask okay leave me alone let's go ahead and uh, clean this up All right, guys, we just used the flame bit to finish up the I Heart You. Check it out, right? Three-dimensional look. It sticks up off the log. Peel the bark off, paint it, leave the bark on, burn it, then peel it, paint it. Whatever you guys want to do. Finish it how you want. I've got to let this piece dry out, though. Cool, fun fact, this is the same log we carved out of in the last video. So I'm actually going to put this log on its side like this flat on the ground and run my saw this way split it in half and guess what i just made two pieces really quick really easy we can sell them give them as gifts whatever you guys want to do and i'm talking 100 miles an hour <sighs> sometimes these videos are just way too long and i don't think you guys like it i don't know i don't know give it a thumbs up though hit subscribe check out that description for links for tools follow me on social media become a member of the channel if you want right you guys can go and help support the channel buy me a cup of coffee show me you're a big fan there's some videos in there too that aren't available to the public and pretty soon pretty soon i say soon probably like maybe spring i don't know i'm gonna try to get some more tutorials with another tier and then i mentioned it in another video but maybe we will do a one-on-one -on -one zoom class in the spring when i know the weather because like right now it's it's just atrocious but when the weather is more predictable and we can plan a day to uh, spend a couple hours do a zoom meeting and uh, do some classes maybe a one-time fee sort of thing you know give me some feedback guys give me some feedback check the uh, community section maybe i'll put a poll up there and everybody can kind of you know do that but all right, talking too much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.